Jane Sue, it's time for a commercial breakdown. Which is better than a mental breakdown. Terry's had three of those. You're a witch. You're a bitch. Here at Fast Forward in Vehicle Audio, we're taking in car music to the future. For some time now, sophisticated music-loving drivers have understood that the future of music is the audio cassette. Fast Forward, rewind, time and time again. It's the Fast Forward Promise, and it's available today. No money down, full credit, just $3.55 APR. In particular, for people who like to make superior quality mixtapes that really have a message, we were the first company in the state to offer super high bias chrome metallic cassettes. Take your music anywhere. It never skips. I've broken my leg and I've been stuck here for two days. Oh, hey, wait! You're the one who's been causing all this trouble! Listen, lady, I'm really in a lot of pain. Can you get me some help? You've been trying to ruin the city, bring down condo prices and infect it with communists! I don't know what you're talking about. My name's Pete Banbury. I've fished these waters for 20 years. All I do is I fish and try to raise my daughter right. Well, Pete, there's some good news. Gordon Moore had saved your daughter from turning to a life of ruining families and being a prostitute. Really? What she wants to be a school teacher, not a hooker. What are you talking about? A teacher? Not anymore, she doesn't. Why not? She's dead. No, please, no. I can't handle it. First my leg. No, this. Oh, you're crying. Of oh, course I'm crying. My only daughter's dead. What kind of... I can see a bunch of those ugly mothers down there. Take us in closer, I'm gonna pop a few heads. He's got me and he's tearing at my clothes! I, I am not! I prefer thin girls! Oh, I need help! Not so fast, you sick scumbag! That's it! Run! You sissy boys! Slightly poorly Molly Malmsteen. But I'm going to kill you if it's the last thing I do. Oh, please, no. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this is so deep that it's got no one heaven. Well, I'm still working on a man this criminally insane. They'll just make him stronger. What should we do, Pablo? You're full of cutting. See, me sombrero. Jeez. I'm so good, I'm bad. He's ingenious, that foreigner. Stand back. You should have stayed out of nice beach, you sicko. I've lived there 55 years. The real estate rush is... Resources, liars. I will let you stand in the way of progress. Die. <laughs> Who would have thought that something as beautiful as a napalm fire could also be doing something as noble as burning to death a criminal genius like that? Incredible. You Americanos are crazy. Hey, who wanted tequila? Oh, oh no! My God, her breast had exploded. Holy frijoles. That's right, Pablo. This town is safe. But the next time we have trouble brewing... Morehead will ride again. Tonight, the Vice City Broadcasting System and its affiliated stations coast to coast have brought you Morehead Rides Again. Gordon Morehead and the Exploding Breasts by D.H. Walzow. These exciting dramas are sent to you each week at the same time. All characters, names, places, and incidents used in this drama are purely fictitious. Isn't it a shame you can't buy napalm anymore? I sure could use a barrel of the stuff. That or a remote control explosive device. But like draining the wetlands to build golf courses, it's progress. I love that show. Some of the values are really old fashioned, but it's a good entertainment that shows the value of patriarchy in our society. And speaking of fatherhood, next is a man who has listeners and some of the staff laughing through tears. Maurice Chavez with pressing issues. Okay, hello and welcome to the show. This is pressing issue with me, Maurice Chavez. At one time, my son was very nervous, but now today, helping me to press the issue and separate the sweet juice of truth from the faulty discharge of lies and misunderstanding, we have technologist Martin Graves. 
Master Martin, please explain to every person listening at home how on Earth that technology is. Hello, Maurice. I I'm all about the future and about how technology has the power. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's very interesting, Martin. But let me finish my introduction first, okay? This is this is my show, a public service to my city, yeah. like the man who takes you. But how can we worry about our elderly family members with dogs soiling themselves? Missiles aimed at Vice City. It is well known. Vice City is a prime target, as the Russians hit our speedboat culture and enormous metals. But enough of orange analogies for the moment. Uh, so technologist is. I'm sorry, sorry, there are other people on the panel. I, I, I said, I said, I should press the issue, my friend, not stroke your ego, okay? Please, where do they get these people, eh? Okay, well, next up we have America's favorite female industrialist, Forbes Labor Leader. Hello, Forbes. Uh, hey, Chavez, um, can we get on with this? There's a real estate closing I have to get to. Has someone got a light? Certainly. Ah, those are very empowering cigarettes. Interesting name, by the way. Kind of manly. Not exactly gender specific, but hey, what do I know? Nothing, clearly. Moving on. Finally, on our little panel of experts, here to press the issue, we have a woman who is a local activist, attending every city council meeting to mouth off. Intense public activist. Hello. Nice to meet you, Riley. You know, I can't remember how to it's your way to the hatch and have a large bed. Are you by any chance pregnant? Uh, yes, obviously. Look at me. What do you think? That I was just a fat bitch? <laughs> hey, okay, okay. Hold your temper there. You know, to my people, fertility is very important. The Aztecs all went sterile from UFOs. I read it in a book. Who is this man? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Gray, for me in there. And goldfish living tree. Okay, as I was saying... Yeah, that's right, it's a gun. This train stops here. Oh! 